Hey, Aaron from Automate All The Things here. I wanted to give you a little bit of context before you jump into this stream clip about the barcode field. So the barcode field is one of the most uh, interesting parts of Airtable to me because barcodes are so ubiquitous, right? So even my barcode scanner has a little barcode at the bottom. But in terms of Airtable, it's actually one of the least known and used fields. Uh, and so I thought this short stream clip where I both introduce the barcode field, how you can use it with a scanner, what it's good for, and really understanding barcodes in Airtable uh, was probably one of my most fun and interesting uh, parts of streams uh, that was kind of buried uh, under everything else that we did in terms of inventory management. So if you're wondering what the barcode field is all about and how to use it, this will be the perfect stream clip for you. So with that, enjoy. No, no, I, I don't own a store. I just, I just think barcodes are cool. So that's why I thought, you know, we could do this stream clip. Yeah, let's, let's just go with, I thought it was good. All right, enjoy. Okay, so let's talk about the barcode field. So I have here some a barcode. And essentially what a barcode is, is under each barcode, you have these numbers. So barcodes are actually just numbers that are easily readable by a scanner. And so, you know, what this scanner does is actually just read that barcode, transfer it into numbers, and then acts as an input, as a keyboard input for whatever system it's tied to. Um, so barcodes originated, you know, uh, I think in the 50s or 40s where uh, someone wanted to track prices for all of their different types of products that were selling. And the first thing that was ever scanned was a Wrigley gum. Um, and really it's around, you know, being able to price items efficiently and quickly. So essentially when you think about it, this is a key that lets you find whatever item is being scanned in your database. So Airtable being a database and Airtable having a barcode field lets you create this kind of uh, really simple point of sale system. Hey, Joe, I imagine that's Joe from FinSuite. Good to see you. Um, and so essentially when you think about it, uh, if your barcode, if this is just a keyboard and that little barcode is just your key, well, essentially scanning it should search in your database. So essentially, you know, when you see a barcode in a database, it's actually just a bunch of numbers. And that is because the something translates, well, the scanner translates this into uh, numbers and lets you search. So we're going to do two things uh, today uh, with this barcode. So first, we're well, going to introduce it. I've kind of talked about, happy to answer any questions around the barcode field. Um, then we're gonna search and add new products. So, you know, initially when I kind of started looking into uh, barcodes, I assumed that each barcode was unique to each product. So if I had 10 of these, I would have 10 different barcodes, but that's not the case. So these are usually at the item or product level. So every time you have this case of sweets, uh, it'll have the same barcode. And how you can know this is that if you search for a book uh, and you scan the book, usually you'll be able to Google that book and find the exact book. So um, barcodes are at the item level, so they're at the inventory level. So if I wanna search for a product, let's say our goal is I'm selling products and I wanna scan a product and find the item in my database so I can quote a price. Right, so our prices are in the product inventory table. The price is right there. So what I should be able to do is scan and find the right item. Now remember, your barcode scanner is a keyboard input. So we're gonna do Control F to find this barcode. And now I'm actually gonna go ahead and scan this, you know, this barcode. I gotta hit it because it's a very cheap scanner. So if it works properly, give me a second. That's what I get for getting a cheap scanner. Did 
There we go. And you'll notice two things happen there. Uh, it might be a little small here. You see that the, the number was inputted, right? So that when the scan was successful, it inputted to where my cursor was. So I had click control F, it finds that item. And because I was searching, I can pull up that record, right? So this is a way, let's say you're scanning items, you can pull up the right record and then potentially create an invoice or create a new sales order based off of that scan. And we'll do that in just a second. So essentially what I've done now is I've found a way to go from barcode to my database. So as long as I'm control F, I scan the item, it comes into my database and I find the record that it's relevant to. So that was step one. Now let's go ahead and add a new product in here. So I'm just going to copy paste everything about the previous record like that. Uh, and I'm not sure Rohan, if you're talking about, uh, my scanner, it frankly never works. Uh, this was the cheapest scanner I could find. And so let's give this a different product ID like that. So we're just adding in a new item. Let's say this one's a hundred dollars. And essentially all you have to do is add in a new barcode. So just like before, now I was searching items. Let's go ahead and uh, add in, let's say we have a new product in our inventory. Let's go ahead and open that up. And then we had to you know, add in the barcodes. So remember that barcodes that are usually at the product level. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I have, I don't know if I can show you this. I, I, I have to like hit it. Should have taken a different item. Give me a sec here. There we go. Apologies for that. Um, and so now I've added the barcode for this new item. So now this is added in my database and I could search that item whenever someone comes in. So always remember, have a better scanner than I do. Uh, and hopefully you don't have to hit it a few times before it works, but we've added a new item, added a barcode, uh, and we're able to add this item to our inventory. So those, that was a quick introduction into the barcode field. So searching for new products and adding new products. Remember searching, you just do control F, you scan that barcode, it'll find the item and then adding new products, you add a record and you simply open up that record and scan that barcode uh, to be able to add it to your inventory. Now the fun part is,